Okay, question five says create an if function in cell M28, which is, oh, let's make it a different color, that one, that will display the following message if the total 400 and the units to allocate this one are not the same. So obviously you've allocated based on the 400 units, but if that total doesn't match that one, there's a problem with your formulas and you want Excel to do it for you. We're going to use if in this case. Oops. So we start with equals if, and the logical test is if the units to allocate is the same or equal to your calculated total. That means if that's true, everything's good. Now notice what I've also put here is the message should read warning incorrect total please checked. Otherwise no message should appear should be displayed if all is correct. So if you want it to be blank, just put in talking marks with nothing inside them. Oops, there we go, that was clever. And that's if it's true, it means you're not going to see anything, comma. If it's false, then we want it to display the words warning, incorrect, total, please check. Talking marks, and that's it. So that's your test. Does that match that? If it's true, then you'd see this, which is nothing. If it's false, you see that. And so immediately you'll notice that there's nothing there. Just to make sure it works, change your total. So I'm going to um, change this value of 15 to 8, which means the total goes to 393, and it tells us, warning, incorrect total, please check. And then you can format that to red if you want it to look more dramatic. So an if, if function is what you need there.